Hello, audiophiles of the internet, and welcome once again to Audio 46, your headphone destination. My name is Franco, and today we will be taking a look at the topic of audio streaming services. In my video about MQA from just a little bit ago, I stated that streaming is the way that the vast majority of us consume our music and probably will be for the foreseeable future. This brought up the question to many of you, which is, what is the best streaming service for audiophiles or for people who want the best quality music? We are going to take a look at a few options, some of which you are probably familiar with, but some you may not be. So stick around because we are going to get into it right now. The first service that we are going to get into here, which is one that you are probably pretty well versed on, is Tidal. Tidal is a streaming service that is often talked about in the audiophile world because of the vast array of quality options it provides. A regular Tidal Premium plan is $9.99 a month and will stream at a standard 320 kilobit per second rate. This is the more compressed, standard level MP3 quality rate that most streaming services will use. If you want to get into more serious audiophile territory, then you can upgrade to the Tidal Hi-Fi plan, which is $19.99 per month and supports lossless CD quality at 1411 kilobits per second, as well as Sony 360 Reality Audio, Dolby Atmos Music, and MQA. Now, if you don't know what MQA is, you can refer to the video I did earlier on the subject in depth. But to put it more basically, it is a format that allows your device to decompress or unfold high resolution information that has been folded into your lossless file type. If that sounds confusing, it's because it kind of is. This is a controversial technology. Needless to say, these options do make for a little bit more hassle on the consumer side, especially if you're going for the title master quality MQA, which requires you to have MQA compatible software or hardware, depending on your setup, that can do the complex unfolding of the files. Some people swear by this sound quality of MQA, others think that it is nothing much and kind of a scam. So you can decide for yourself on that. Also a thing to look out for here, I've heard from a lot of you in particular in the comments that the algorithm and the user interface for Tidal can be a bit irritating. Tidal, as we know, is owned by Jay-Z and is very hip hop focused, which is great if you're into that genre, but it does have a reputation of using an algorithm that is always marketing certain music toward you that may not match the music that you typically listen to. Other streaming apps usually have an experience that is much more tailored to the listener based on what your usual listening habits are, so the lack of this is just something to consider here. But as far as sound quality goes, this is a highly regarded option. The next streaming service I'm gonna mention here is one that is often lumped in with Tidal when doing comparison and this is Cubuzz. This is a French-based company that along with streaming allows for downloads and high-res purchases through the app. Cubuzz supports a very big library of music streaming at CD quality 1411 kilobits per second, much like Tidal. In addition to this, they also have music that goes beyond CD quality at 24-bit and with higher sampling rates at 96 kilohertz and 192 kilohertz. You can stream all of these for a price of $15.99 per month, or you can upgrade to the Sublime Plus package which gives you basically the same thing, but allows you to make purchases at a discounted rate. This costs an annual lump sum of $250 here, and the stipulation on the discounted purchases is that they must be done through Cubuzz itself. Because this is the case, the utility of the big price jump is a little questionable, but I suppose that financially it can all add up if you really do want to have the combination of streaming as well as buying, downloading, and hosting big lossless or high-res files. The next service we're gonna talk about is one of the more recent and newer ones that has become available, and it has thrown a real wrench into this whole arena of high-res, high-quality streaming. This is Amazon Music HD. What we have here is a classic case of Amazon doing as Amazon does, which is being able to provide the same service as the competition, but due to their resources, also being able to offer a slightly cheaper rate. It works like this. Amazon Music HD has two layers of quality. The first tier is HD, which streams 16 bits at 44.1 kilohertz or CD quality once again. There are about 50 million songs available in the Amazon HD library in this tier of quality. The second tier is what Amazon calls Ultra HD or high res, which streams 24 bit at 192 kilohertz here. This is only supported on about 10 million songs. The beauty of Amazon HD is that you get access to all of these with the subscription plan. So you can stream all the songs available at whichever quality they are supported in for a price of just $14.99 a month. 
or if you have a Prime account, it goes down to just $12.99 a month, which is a pretty big difference when comparing to the $19.99 of something like Tidal. As a result, this has become a really viable and quickly growing option for audiophiles out there. Unlike Tidal or Cubuzz, this does not even support any kind of 320 kilobit per second MP3 quality. It is just CD, high res, and that's it. To take advantage of this, you are going to have to make sure that your device supports 24-bit songs. The final service that I'm gonna mention here is one that some of you are probably not familiar with, and this one is Deezer. Deezer is another French company that boasts an impressive library of 56 million licensed songs and over 30,000 radio channels. If you take a quick look at it, you'll see that a lot of its features and uses, especially when it comes to playlists and music discovery, greatly resemble those of Spotify. I've heard them described as a big brother, little brother situation before, and it is easy to see why, as they are in fact very similar in lots of ways. However, one advantage that Deezer does have over the ubiquitous streaming giant is the availability of its hi-fi tier. This offers streaming for tracks in your library at 1411 kilobits per second flack lossless CD quality, which Spotify just does not offer. Their most high quality option is 320 kilobits per second. As far as the other streamers that we talked about, Deezer also has a pretty big advantage in terms of sheer range and reach. While both Tidal and Cubuzz, as we went over, offer a wide range of high quality listening options in a big library of music, Tidal is only available in around 50 countries and Cubuzz is only available in 12. Conversely, Deezer is available in over 185 countries with the possibility of adding even more over time. Now, there is no high res option, that is, you cannot stream any higher than CD quality, but as the company continues to grow, which it keeps on doing, there is certainly more potential for different options and different changes. So this may be a very good service to investigate, even if it is not one of the premier names, at least not right now. The Deezer Hi-Fi subscription is priced at $19.99, which is the same as Tidal. So it may seem like you are getting a bit less, but if you are not a fan of Tidal's algorithm, software, interface, Face, which a lot of people do object to and is a deal breaker for some. This could be an option that is more user friendly and more similar to something that you are used to. It really does mimic Spotify, albeit a little different, but with CD quality instead of MP3 quality streaming. At the end of the day, the differences between all of these sophisticated file types, in truth, is not huge. Sure, one file may contain more information than another, but a lot of it does really come down to preference and what you are using to listen. So what do you guys think of this? Are you loyal to one service? Do you use a few? Are you considering changing right now? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to know what you guys think. If you learned something from this or you just enjoy this kind of content, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you never miss another video from our channel. If you want more information like this, then please head over to our website at audio46.com to check out our blog posts and our our product reviews. And finally, if you're lucky enough to find yourself in New York City, then please feel free to drop into our brick and mortar store on 46th Street to come say hello and try out some headphones. That's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to discuss with you in the comments. I'm Franco once again with Audio 46, your headphone destination. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all very soon.